Look at the moon. I've been there, you know. Okay, so it's night adventure time and we are gonna make a video. I have some plans. I'm gonna talk to you about some subjects and then I'm going to improvise for the rest of the time. Okay, so the first subject I have for you today and the first question is that can you explain your dreams in real time? What does Truth Detective mean by this? I mean that if you fall asleep, can you talk through your dreams? Can you explain them while they happen? Try this. Get a microphone or hit record on your smartphone and just talk what goes in your mind and listen when the talking stops. You know, it's the most beautiful night to be wearing an Italian designer suit. Uh, it's just the right temperature to be wearing something like this. I just love it, you know. The air is so clean, you know, over here in the forest trails and, you know, you can just be anybody you freaking want, you know, over here. You could be a stock trader on freaking Wall Street. Okay, the next subject I want to be talking to you in this video is the question, can a set be more than a background? You know, in YouTube videos there's always some kind of a background. Here we are in the forest and I'm going to explain to you that if you have a green screen you can't be doing things like these. You know, going to the forest with a freaking 600 euro Italian suit and looking for those best stocks on the stock marketplace. You know about that. Now, let's try to find a good stock. There's a good one over here. I'm gonna show this to you. If you invest your monies in this stock that I have over here, you're going to become filthy rich in just a few freaking months. And that's why you need to wear Italian-made designer suits by Paul Smith. And the next subject I have for you is the Truth Detective filming set. And this subject is really about how I'm going to take my filming and YouTube videos to the next level. I want to create an environment that matches my outfit and the detective story, you know. I want Nixie clocks, you know. I want old school lamps. I want typewriters on the background, that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna do it in some bunker, maybe. And now we're gonna go through the forest. And as you see, so, like, for example, that tree over there, it's about to fall. And today is a great day because there's no wind, you know. We can get great audio, but we, we have to be pretty careful over here. And if you didn't know, Finland is filled with all kinds of forests. But this forest has a trail. And when you go really into the wilds, you won't be seeing any trails. There's this kind of weird feeling that falls over you when you go through a forest like this. Kind of fear. Or the kind of feeling that you're not actually alone. The forest is alive, but you kind of feel that there's somebody behind you. And then you turn around and there's nobody there. Okay, and the next subject I have for you over here is the amazing things that other people did. Have you noticed in your life, when you watch YouTube videos all day, that you just look at other people doing all kinds of funny, amazing things, and then you go and you look at your own life and you're kind of like, man! I wish I could be doing something with my life. A lot of people are afraid of the dark. I'm not one of those people. But look at this fucking tree. You know, like holy shit, I was just standing like under that. <laughs> God will protect you, just trust it. Yeah, I have to be sure that my battery on the freaking lamp doesn't run out because it's, it will be a pain in the ass to get out of here. If you want to find your greatness and your power, you have to come to places like this in the night time and just, you know, feel yourself being so alone. And the next part of this video is that I'm gonna tell you a little story of the man that kept asking 
everybody the same question. What if I'm an alien? And the guy went around and he asked the doctors, he asked lawyers, he asked even stock investors. What if I'm an alien? Can you explain or like prove that I'm not an alien? And nobody could explain or prove that to him. So in the end he concluded that I have to be an alien. And do you know what the guy did? Well, he started moving like one. And that's why you shouldn't be afraid to do things like this. You might be an alien. And did you know that in the war time, when Finnish soldiers moved in the forests, I bet that some of them could move in the stylest ways, in the most low ways you can ever imagine. They moved like the spiders. And you could never even hear them, you know. And they didn't even have lamps. And you know, it might be that you didn't take that path you took in your life because it was the best path or that it would lead you to, to the best stock trades ever. It might be just for the fact that you saw that the path was leading you to where the light was. You see? There it is. And then you just followed it. That's also the reason why you should be following your heart, you know, because your heart is the light and it will show you the way. And now I'm gonna explain to you the next part of this video and this subject is called Project Aspect Betterment. So it's about your projects and for example here I have lighting, I have audio, I have video. I have my clothes, I have these mosquitoes flying around telling me what to say next, you know. God is on my side every time. And if I want to make some of the aspects better on this video, I can use something that already exists, you know. Here we have a light. I can use something that I have to get from somewhere, maybe with money. But still, I can always get better in some aspect. Do that in your life and you're gonna get to the top. The next idea I'm gonna tell you is the fedora shaped lamp. What if there was a lamp that cast a shadow of a fedora when it was illuminated by another lamp? Think about that. Look, there's a mushroom. Don't be eating those freaking shrooms, man. They're gonna make you crazy. You might end up just like me, rich and freaking famous. There's another one. Look at the colors. Like, holy shit, that's amazing. But don't be eating those. The next subject I have for you over here is half ideas. And half ideas are really interesting. They are ideas that are not really clear cut instructions for you. Do this, then this, and then this. They are half ideas. They just, you know, are kind of like seeds for your mind. That is the soil. And then you have to water those fuckers. And at some point you're gonna get the harvest and it's going to be great. And now I'm gonna show you an interesting thing I can do with the camera. I have for you over here a pocket camera, a Canon. And I'm going to take a picture out of my clothes. You see that fabric? It's called Cupro. This fabric in the inner lining of the suit is amazing. It's blue. And I'm going to take a photograph of it with this camera while swinging the camera like that. Go see my art portfolio. The link is in the description. Those are my artworks I have done like that. It's amazing what you can do. It's a new format I'm trying. An adventure. Trying to explain things through my body movements. You see those freaking leaves? That's so freaking deep, you know. There's nobody else but you seeing this. 
but the only one in the whole world. Seeing this right now, you're a pretty rare individual, you know. Special case. Man, we might be in the rainforest. There might be some aboriginal tribes over here in the forest. People stuck in the Stone Age. Use your freaking imagination, you know. There are even lions in here. Like a frog, you know. There's a trail. I bet some cycle monster went through here. You know, now I've been there twice. But there, I have never been able to reach. It's just too far away. And you know, God didn't place you on this planet for nothing, you know. There's a reason why you're here. And you know, it's possible that at some point you might lose your ability to walk upstairs too. So you should do it while you still can. Those freaking moves, man. These things you see over here are called flying saucers. Just believe me, man. And places like this you see over here are very bad for the human soul. And because every day might be your last day in your life, you should and you ought to be dressing really nice for your audience. Click those like buttons. The last subject or maybe there will be more, I don't know, is the matching network of fashion. What is that? You understand that I'm a detective and if I want a matching car or a matching whatever, like maybe a matching home, what would be a matching home for a detective from the 20s, 1920s? The matching network is really, really about how you will never have a matching everything in your life. You won't have that matching lamp to match your nice suit. But maybe you can get there and maybe your YouTube videos are going to match perfectly. And maybe you will even find that matching freaking lady. You know, nobody knows. And you see that? I've been there thrice. Or is it for the third time? I don't know. But there I might never reach. Man, life is so freaking sad. You become so freaking Brit when you wear Paul Smith.